Hello, everybody. That got silence well. My name is Adam Clean Oron, and I am one of your hosts this, e this evening. Uh, I'll begin, begin with a brief introduction and then several greetings, and then we'll move to the first session. In 2010, my colleagues Rachel Wurzberger and Boaz Hus initiated a research group on political aspects of New Age culture in Israel, in which many of the scholars of new religiosity in Israel participated. When, in 2011, a member of this group drew, drew our attention to the newly minted report of the Israeli Ministry of Welfare and Social Services, a report titled An Examination of the Phenomena of Cults in Israel, this report was based around the brainwashing hypothesis and peppered with quotes from people such as Margaret Zinger and Steve Hassan. Those of us familiar with the academic literature on new religious movements thought this was unfair treatment of the subject, as you can imagine. And we wrote a letter to the ministry. This started a battle that lasted three years and to a degree is still ongoing, involving more media exposure than I ever thought possible in academia and even a stint or two in courtrooms. This was all new ground for us, not for all of you. In one of those bouts, an anti-cult activist admonished me bitterly. She said, you keep saying our information is biased, our data is bad. Well, come on, you're academics, you gather data. And so we did. We decided that it is high time that the bubbling scene of new religious movements in Israel received some academic attention and found a warm home at the Van Leer Jerusalem Institute, a home that has allowed us to establish Meida, the Israeli New Religious Movements Information Center. We have since written reports on neo-paganism and neo-shamanism in Israel, on the Lev Tahor sect, cult, movement, the local branches of Scientology, ISKCON, and Anthroposophy, and Bnei Baruch and are preparing reports on Messianic Jews, Jehovah's Witnesses, and the Kabbalah Center. But notice, I've said reports, not papers. True to the model that has inspired us, Eileen Barker's inform, as well as to Van Leer's vision of pursuing the social impact of deep ideas, we are aiming our efforts not only at the academic community, but at the general public. The reports are concise, they are written in Hebrew, and they are free to download and distribute. This combination of social engagement and rigorous academic research is exemplified, exemplified best by you, the people who have participated in the censored conferences over the years. This is why we are both proud and humbled to host you here for the 2017 Chesner Conference, which is held for the first time in Jerusalem on why Jerusalem is an appropriate location for this conference and why the theme of holy lands and sacred histories fits the city so well, I believe there is no need to, for me to expand, especially as we, are, we will spend the next three days speaking about it and the next hour and a half too. Boaz will give more detailed thanks, but to conclude, I wish to thank the Van Leer Jerusalem Institute staff for offering every assistance in organizing this conference. I wanna thank Asher Benjamin for making all of this come together. I think all of you have corresponding, corresponded with him personally. And to the Cessna team for teaching us the meaning of professionalism. Mostly though, I, want, I would like to thank you all for attending and wish us all a very fruitful and engaging conference in the next few days. And now to some further greetings. First, Massimo Introvenia. Massimo Introvenia is the founder and managing director of the Center for Studies of New Religions, Chesnor, and one of the leading scholars on the research of new religious movements in the world. Massimo. Thank you. I have to confess I always hope to come with Chesnor to Jerusalem, and we started uh, imagining a Chesnor in Jerusalem when we started imagining uh, Chesnor. 
Uh, it was 29 years ago, so this is not the conference of the 30th anniversary, but it's the 30th conference, because the first year we did two in 1988. Uh, from the first conference, which was attended by only 12 people, I am here the only survivor. Well, Jean-Francois Mayer is still around, but he's at another conference in Switzerland. But from the second conference in Foggia, which was slightly better attended, we have Gordon Melton, and we almost have Eileen Barker, who is flying somewhere, having lost a flight. So, uh, in, when I imagined that one day perhaps we'll go to Jerusalem, perhaps I was not sure Chesdor will have lasted for 30 years, but, uh, and surely I will not have imagined one day I will speak at the Chesdor conference without a tie, let alone without a jacket. <laughs> <laughs> so there is always something new in these <laughs> conferences, uh, and we try to provide new forms of entertainment. <laughs> but really, finally, the dream came true, and that's thanks to Adam and Boas and Van Leer Institute and all the team. What's best place in the world to do a conference on religion than Jerusalem? So we should uh, have come here before, but uh, finally here we come, and we are so grateful to our wonderful uh, Israeli host for making this possible. But things are always on the move at Chesnur, so uh, I will uh, conclude with two announcements. The first announcement is that we, uh, as probably you would uh, notice uh, from your folders, we are launching an academic journal, the Journal of uh, Chesnur, which will be an open access uh, uh, online uh, journal. Uh, the good news in open access journals is you don't pay to read. The bad news in open access journals is you pay to publish, but our fees are very reasonable. And so uh, I believe that many papers of this conference uh, would eventually find their way in the Journal of Chester. So we will no longer publish cyber proceedings, or rather we would uh, uh, publish only PowerPoints as cyber proceedings, uh, while for the papers we encourage the participants uh, to submit proposals to the Journal of Cessnor. Uh, the second announcement uh, is about next year conference. Uh, uh, we had several interesting proposals, but uh, finally uh, next year conference uh, will be in uh, Taiwan in cooperation with uh, Weixin uh, College, which is an uh, accredited uh, academic institution which is part of the world of a Taiwanese new religion uh, called Weixin Shenjiao. So I hope to see uh, all of you in uh, uh, Taiwan, uh, the more so because we will have both a, a pre-conference field trip and a post-conference field trip. And uh, it's not that we became crazy all of a sudden, but it's that the pre-conference field trip uh, will coincide uh, with the unveiling of a giant uh, uh, statue of Guai Goose, who is the uh, it was an historical character, a divinized Chinese strategist, but is the main uh, uh, object of worship in Wenxin Shenjiao. So I will, uh, uh, I will just ask Fiona Chang from Taiwan, she's a PhD student there, who will coordinate the organization to, to say a few words of welcome uh, uh, for next conference in uh, Taiwan. Thank you.
everyone. I'm very honored to be here. And for, I'm Fiona, I'm from Taiwan. And I'm here and I would like to make an announcement and to invite everyone to come to Taiwan next year. And first, um, this is our gener general management ma manager. His name is Maurice Chen. He will he would like to speak Chinese to welcome you. Then I translate in English. 各位女士先生，大家好，我是莫律师，我代表台湾维新世界和平促进会来参与本次大会，聆听各位学者的高水准论述，也让我有一个学习的机会。G.S.E.N.U.R.是一个。即将迈入二十年的高水准研究机构，我很荣幸能多次参加这个组织的活动，并且扩展了非常多的视野，受益良多。Hello, everyone. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Maurice. Re represent the Taiwan Weixin World Peace Promotion Association to participate in this great conference, listen to every scholar's high-level discourses, and have a chance for learning. CENSOR is a high-level research institution which has been established for almost 20 years. We are appreciating to join this great event to expand our vision and benefit a lot. Taiwan Weixin World Peace Promotion Association is an institution established by Weixin Shen Zhao, having established for almost eight years its main activities including holding academic forum related to world peace, participating in international peace organization, and many kinds of interactive activities about religion and academic. Taiwan Formosa is the peaceful is a place full of warmness and friendliness. It's our pleasure to have the chance for holding 2018 Sensor Conference in Taiwan Weixin, Shen, Taiwan Weixin College tai, by Taiwan Weixin World Peace Promotion Association. Welcome to Taiwan from June 17 to 23rd in 2018. At the same time, a grand event will be held by Taiwan Weixin Shenzhou College on Taiwan Nantou County in June 18, 2018, and will be crowded with more than 5,000 people. The inauguration ceremony of Gui Gu Zi Wang Chan Lao Zhu um, is uh, about 25 meters height. Its golden sculpture will in, uh, the, the golden sculpture, the ceremony, we will invite every friend from all, all walks of life and religious leader to join together. And we are here to invite all scholars there to come to Taiwan. It's our honor to hold this ceremony together and see you next year. Thank you. I'd like to introduce Shai Lavi. Shai v, Professor Shai v is the director of the Van Leer Jerusalem Institute and a professor in the Faculty of Law at Tel Aviv University, also the director of the Edmond J. Safra Center for Ethics at Tel Aviv, and the co-director of the Minerva Center for the Study of the End of Life. Shai, please. It's a, it's a true joy to see uh, so many of you here from far and near, and uh, I apologize for the jacket. I'm new to the conference, and I am not familiar with your customs. Uh, um, I, I'd like to say uh, very brief words just uh, to welcome you to the Vanir Jerusalem Institute. Uh, the Institute is uh, the largest non-university uh, academic research uh, institute. Uh, always good to add of its kind when you say the largest, uh, so of its kind. And uh, we have two missions. One is to further academic research on topics that are often uh, not uh, regarded 
enough at the university, often due to disciplinary boundaries, uh, sometimes due to the newness and novelty of the field. Perhaps these days, new religions is already a well-established academic uh, endeavor, but uh, early on it was not, and so this is very appropriate for us. Our second mission is uh, the public engagement with uh, ideas. Uh, unlike uh, universities, at least often, uh, we are committed to uh, making our ideas available to larger audiences to address questions that are of importance to people here in Israel and also elsewhere on matters uh, that concern all of us, not only academics. And in this way, uh, our conference, uh, Holy Lands and Sacred Histories and New Religious Movements, is especially appropriate. As I was thinking what to say uh, to you this afternoon, I ran into a, a headline uh, from 2016. Couple said to have secretly exchanged vows at Judaism's holiest site for first time since destruction of Second Temple. This is a headline from last year, but this week we had uh, the sequel, uh, the second time since the destruction of the Temple that a couple uh, and got engaged on, uh, on Temple Mount. And I think that uh, this, this title on the one hand weaves very nicely, I think, the holy lands and the new religions with also a sacred history that is told in this one paragraph. But also, I think, this attention that I'm sure you know much more about than I do, so I come to this uh, with a question, on the tension between the traditional religions, you know, the very high uh, public, uh, the holiest place uh, where uh, this scene takes place, as well as with uh, the new movement. This is definitely a new movement because Jews traditionally were prohibited on going out uh, uh, Temple Mount, as you know. The secretive aspect of this uh, uh, exchange of vows, as well as this, uh, the way that the people involved felt very comfortable to concede that this was their first time on the Mount, but still that they felt very natural and that God was walking with them. And so this tension between the traditionalist understanding of religions and these new movements is very topical and I think Hyde uh, holds uh, important uh, insight for our times. Let me uh, conclude uh, with gratitude to the organizers of the, of the conference, especially to Adam Klinoron and to Boaz Hus, uh, as well as to Sandra for being here. Uh, on this uh, occasion. I hope you enjoy your stay here in Jerusalem and at the Institute. Thank you very much. Third, we would I would like to introduce, introduce Professor Boaz Hus of the Golshan Gorin International Center for Jewish Thought. Boaz is a professor of Kabbalah studies Kabbalah studies, sorry, at the Golden, Golden Gordon, Goldstein Gorin Department of Jewish Thought at the Ben Gurion University of the Negev. He is also vice president of the European Society for the Study of Western Esotericism, ESWE, and one of the founders of Meida, the Israeli New Religious Movements Information Center at the Van Leer Jerusalem Institute. Boaz. <coughs> I'm happy to welcome you to the 2017 Cessnor Conference and to greet you on behalf of the Goldstein Gorin International Center for Jewish Thought at Ben Gurion University. I'm delighted to see so many familiar friends and colleagues, and I look forward to meet new colleagues and make new friends. This is what usually happens at a Cessna conference. I apologize for the weather. <laughs> we knew it will be hot but it, we did not plan that it will be the hottest day in the year. <laughs> Possibly we got into some trouble with either old or new deities, or at least surely with some of, repre of the representatives, but if any of you have good connections, please do something <laughs> about it. Anyway, they promise that by Tuesday, the weather will be a little bit better. For the time being, drink a lot of water. 
Several institutes work together uh, to, and help to organize and fund the conference. CESNO, the Van Leer Jerusalem Institute, and the Goldstein Gorn International Center for Jewish Thought. And I, I would like first to thank our hosts. This is a wonderful venue, and it is a privilege to have our conference in the framework of the Van Leer Jerusalem Institute, which is a leading institute in Israeli intellectual life and as uh, Professor Lavi said, uh, 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 it helps, I think, uh, uh, in encouraging uh, those areas uh, uh, that are sometimes neglected uh, uh, in the Israeli universities. It also enables the connection between different universities, and we were very lucky to be adopted by the Van Leer uh, uh, Institute. Um, the Van Leer Institute helped us to establish the Meida Center, hosted and funded our activities for several years, and the director of the institute and its team agreed willingly to host the Cessna Conference and supported it and put great efforts in planning and organizing it. I'm very grateful to the Van Leer New Director, Professor Shai Lavi, and to its former director, Professor Gabi Motskin, for supporting and hosting Meida Center and the Cessna Conference. I would like to thank the Van Leer team, especially to Shimon Alon, Limo Sagi, Shulamit Laron, not sure if some of them or all of them are here, Yochi Fischer, Eyal Efron, Daniel, Dan, Danai Marks, and Tamara Badi, and there are more people who helped and continue to help and will, uh, will be here to help us in the following days. Uh, I would like to, to thank my colleagues from the Meida Center, Adam Klinoron, Rachel Wertzberger, and Clara Unger. And of course, to our Cessna partners, Massimo Introvigno and Pierre Luigi Zocatelli. And as Adam said very aptly, you taught us what professionalism is, and it's a pleasure to work with bring me a pleasure to work with you. And finally, to the Goldson Gordon Center, to its director, Professor Chaim Kreisel, who again agreed uh, 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 gladly to help us and to fund and organize the conference. And many, many, many special thanks to Asher Benjamin, the coordinator of the conference, for his enormous and efficient and kind uh, work. 